All right, guys, I want to show you how we calculate the lifetime value of a sale. In the, in the video that you guys are watching, in this Medium post, I just took our average gross margin times a certain number of months, which I think I did 20 months. Um, the actual way to calculate uh, lifetime value is what you want to do is you want to take your average gross margin per sale, which is usually just the revenue minus cost of goods sold, which is usually going to be like your customer support costs, and then any like infrastructure costs and things like that. But anyway, average gross margin per sale, and then you want to take it down a retention curve, okay? So typically what you want to do is you want to do a three-year lifetime value calculation. Um, so I took 36 months right here. I did a, uh, a retention curve for things that we've seen in other like SMB SaaS plays. So typically, uh, SaaS companies are going to see a cliff churn. So you're going to see higher churn in the first like six to eight months, and then it's going to level off. Um, this also assumes that you're not going to have any negative churn through expansions and upgrades. So what I've done is you can see after eight months, we retain uh, or actually, after seven months, we retain only 75% of the customers. We lose 25% of our customers in the first eight months, but then we're losing only 1% of customers for each month thereafter. So what we do is we take our average gross margin uh, per sale per customer, and then we're going to take it down this retention curve, and then we're just going to add it up. Okay, so uh, we add up um, a $200 average gross margin down this three-year retention curve, and you can see our three-year LTV is $5,056. So that is what I'm going to use in this calculation and in this blog post uh, for our uh, cost of acquisition to lifetime value ratio.